For more than half a century, one idea has captured humanity's imagination like no other. A starship, not a rocket, not a probe, but a self-sustaining city among the stars, capable of traveling faster than light, exploring distant worlds, and carrying humanity beyond its home system. This is the promise imagined by Star Trek. But what if we tried to build one, for real? How long would it take? How much would it cost? And what would humanity actually need to do to make it happen? This is not a story about fiction. This is a story about scale, science, civilization, and ambition. Before we can ask how to build a starship, we must first understand what we are trying to build. A Star Trek-style starship is not just a vehicle, it is an ecosystem. Typical characteristics include hundreds of meters in length, crew sizes ranging from hundreds to thousands, artificial gravity, faster than light travel, independent food, water, and air recycling, massive energy generation, advanced computing, and automation. In real-world terms, this is equivalent to a nuclear power plant, a city, an aircraft carrier, a research laboratory, and a deep space survival system all fused into a single structure, operating indefinitely millions or billions of kilometers from Earth. Nothing humanity has ever built even comes close. The greatest obstacle to building a starship is not money, it is physics. Many of the technologies required simply do not exist today, not even in prototype form. The first technology that we do not yet possess is faster than light travel. According to current physics, nothing with mass can exceed the speed of light. Concepts like warp drives remain mathematical theories that require, number one, exotic matter, number two, negative energy, and number three, space-time manipulation far beyond current understanding. Next, the second technology that we do not yet possess is artificial gravity. We can simulate gravity using rotation, but true gravity generation has no known mechanism. The third technology that we do not yet possess is matter-antimatter power. Antimatter exists, but producing one gram currently costs trillions of dollars and consumes enormous energy. Lastly, the fourth technology, transporters and energy shields. These require precision control of matter and energy at levels we cannot yet achieve. To develop even one of these technologies would take decades. To develop all of them would require a revolution in science itself. Estimated time to invent the required science, 50 to 150 years, and that assumes uninterrupted global progress. Once the science exists, the next challenge begins. Designing a starship, Designing a starship would be the most complex engineering project in human history. Every system must function as follows. One, in a vacuum. Two, under extreme radiation. Three, with no immediate rescue. And four, for decades at a time. Engineers would need to solve the following categories. One, structural stress across massive hulls. Two, internal transportation systems. Three, fire suppression in zero gravity, four, psychological health for long-term crews, five, redundant systems for nearly everything. If we take a real-life example, like aircraft carriers, modern aircraft carriers take 10 to 15 years to design and build. They operate on Earth with constant resupply and limited mission durations. A starship has none of those luxuries. The estimated building time of a starship would also take more than 100 years and every redesign would ripple across thousands of interconnected systems. Here's the part most people never consider. You cannot build a starship on Earth. The materials alone would weigh millions of tons. The size of a starship would be impossible to launch from Earth economically. It simply requires manufacturing methods that don't work under gravity. To build one starship, humanity would first need to build, number one, orbital shipyards. Number two, space-based factories. Number three, asteroid mining operations. Number four, lunar or Martian industrial bases. And number five, zero gravity construction platforms. This means transforming the entire solar system into an industrial network. In effect, the ship is not the project. 
the ship is the result of becoming a spacefaring civilization. Estimated time to build this infrastructure, 30 to 50 years at minimum. Only after decades or centuries of preparation could construction finally begin. The ship would be built, one, in space, two, in modular sections, three, using AI-controlled robotics, and four, with human oversight. Each module would be constructed, tested, integrated, and tested again. Major construction challenges include hull integrity across extreme temperature gradients, radiation shielding, internal pressure systems, power distribution, emergency containment. Even with advanced automation, assembling a structure of this scale would take years. Estimated construction time, 10 to 20 years, and that assumes no catastrophic failures. Once construction is complete, the ship is still not ready. Testing a starship would be unlike testing any machine ever built. Test phases would include structural stress simulations, reactor startup and shutdown cycles, life support endurance testing, long duration crew simulations, emergency system failures, and faster than light field stability tests. Unlike conventional vehicles, failure is not an option. A mistake could destroy the ship, kill the crew, or trigger unknown physical consequences. Testing would likely take years, not months. Estimated testing and certification, five to 10 years. Let's combine everything. Scientific breakthroughs, 50 to 150 years. Ship design, 20 to 40 years. Industrial infrastructure, 30 to 50 years. Construction, 10 to 20 years. Testing, five to 10 years. Total estimated time of building a starship, 115 to 270 years. This is not a project for one generation. This is a project for civilization itself. Now comes the most staggering question. How much would it cost? To understand this, consider the following real life systems. The International Space Station, approximately $150 billion. The Apollo program, approximately $280 billion. A modern aircraft carrier, approximately $13 billion. A starship dwarfs all of these. Conservative estimates cost of building a starship are as follows. Research and development, five to $10 trillion. Solar system infrastructure, 20 to $40 trillion. Ship construction, 10 to $30 trillion. Testing and deployment, five to $10 trillion. Total cost, 40 to $90 trillion. That is multiple years of total global economic output. No corporation could do this. No single nation could afford it. To build a starship, humanity would need planetary scale cooperation, long-term political stability, global resource coordination, and a shared vision lasting centuries. In other words, building the ship requires humanity to outgrow itself. Ironically, the hardest part isn't engineering, it's unity. So why even try? Because a real starship would end resource scarcity via space mining, revolutionize medicine and energy, protect Earth from cosmic threats, enable interstellar exploration, and finally ensure humanity's long-term survival. This wouldn't just be a machine, it would be a declaration. That humanity chose exploration over extinction, collaboration over conflict, and the future over the present. A Star Trek starship is not unrealistic because it's expensive. It's unrealistic because it requires patience measured in centuries, cooperation measured in planets, vision measured in stars, but every impossible machine in history once seemed the same. And if humanity ever does build one, it won't just change where we can go, it will change who we are. The question isn't whether we can build a starship. The question is whether we can become the kind of civilization that deserves one.